I guess sorry for no posting a long, 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 long time. Uh, but today, I'm, I'm really sorry. So today, guys, we are going to be talking about hamster bedding. Um, this is like a question that most would like to say. Wood saw, like soft wood bedding, typically wooden pieces of bedding. And some would say paper bedding. I recommend paper bedding like a lot more than wooden bedding and that, that. The two beddings I recommend is Carefresh and Katie Clean and Cozy. Um, my most favorite one is, of course, Katie Clean and Cozy. And by the way, the colors don't matter. Uh, because hamsters don't see like humans. And typically, they don't want to see the color. Um, so, that's why I recommend these big things. And if they accidentally eat them, like hamsters, they also collect these beddings for their like beds or anything like that. Um, they put them in their cheeks. And if they accidentally eat them, like a paper bedding, they won't choke to death. They'll just digest it because it's paper. But if they eat a wooden one, Guys, they will choke to death and they won't be able to die just to it. Next thing I'm going to talk about is paper shreddings. Um, paper shreddings are, of course, parts of beddings and this can be used during a taming process. Like this. Thing can be used. Yes, this thing could be used in jarring, jarring the taming process, which will probably be a video that will be for me very hard to make because I've got a hamster which is already tamed. So, yeah, um, bedding to make a bedding really be useful. Paper bedding towels. Um, you can make this out of them paper towels um and that's why i added the word bedding so typically you could just wipe it against yourself like you know and then make it paper shredding uh and then just put it somewhere in the enclosure of the hamster cage and they'll probably just take it in their cheeks or take it to their bedding or nest and then they will get used to the smell and recognize that you have the smell the exact same smell and they'll be like whoa um yeah next thing i'm going to talk is about carriers uh carriers are really important especially how much bedding you put in them this I still kept my hamster when I moved. We were moving. Um, it's typically um, you don't need to put like a little bedding. Like you can like just a hamster can walk. Let's say this much. A hamster can already walk on it. You're like, yes, yeah, that's, that's enough. But digging, they need to dig. They need to hide because they're scared. That's why you have to put like somewhere. I, I put it up to here. So typically this whole area is my hamster area, digging area. Because if I put it even more, the bedding just flying out. Um, of course, somehow wondrous movement. My hamster has done this. And if you don't know what it is, he put food in there. That's so all I have to clear it out and just get out the food um see you later in my next videos